Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. All of Canada was left shaken this past week after a snowbird's plane crashed just seconds after taking off from the Kamloops airport on Sunday, injuring the pilot and killing the plane's passenger, Captain Jennifer Casey. The tragedy occurred just before noon on Sunday, a day after the aerial acrobatics team had put on a show above Kamloops. Two planes were heading to Comox as part of their Operation Inspiration Tour when something happened with one of the planes, causing it to crash into a nearby Kamloops residential neighborhood. No one on the ground was injured, but Captain Richard McDougall was seriously injured and Captain Casey was killed. Operation Inspiration, a tour to lift the spirits of Canadians during the COVID-19 pandemic, was the brainchild of Captain Casey, the Snowbird's public relations officer. The military is now in Kamloops, investigating the crash. More cases of COVID-19 continue to be identified in BC this week, with the total number of positive tests rising to more than 2,500 this week, but just over 300 active cases of the virus remain. Deaths in the province rose to 155 this week, while new outbreaks were declared at Abbotsford's Matsqui Institution Correctional Facility and a long-term care home in Mission. With the continued flattening of the curve of new COVID cases in the province, the first steps to reopen some businesses were taken Tuesday. Restaurants and pubs across the Okanagan began opening on Tuesday under new restrictions that keeps occupancy at 50% and tables at least two metres apart. It's different, obviously, with the social distancing. It's more of a pub-style restaurant, a lot of space between tables. Many personal service establishments, like salons and barbers, were also reopened this week. After being closed for more than two months and reopening under new restrictions, many BC restaurants are hurting. To help, the City of Kelowna announced this week it would be shutting down vehicle traffic on Bernard Avenue downtown to allow restaurants more patio space in the street. The changes will take effect from June 29th to September 8th. Down south, a Penticton City Councillor has suggested allowing the consumption of alcohol on select city beaches in an effort to help local breweries and wineries. The idea was met with some support and it was forwarded on to city staff for their recommendations at a later council meeting. A hiker was rescued from Canyon Falls in Kelowna Wednesday night after losing his footing and falling almost 40 feet. Central Okanagan Search and Rescue and the Kelowna Fire Department responded to the incident at about 5.30 p.m. and using a helicopter they were able to rescue him from the area. The 20-year-old suffered head injuries and cuts to his body, but he remained conscious and coherent during the rescue. He was treated at KGH, but the severity of his injuries is unknown. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Thank you.